Yesterday, we were trying to order things in the order that they wanted them to be. So there's going to be two questions in your test. So in triangle A, can I list these sides and angles in the correct order? And remember, what was the hard part? What is the correct order? Smallest to largest. And it has to be a list. So small, medium, large. So what is the easiest thing to identify first? Side. Side. So what is the smallest side? AC. AC. What is the medium side? CB. Plus two. And what is the largest side? AB. AB. I think that's not too terrible. Is there anybody that has any questions about how we do that or why we do that? You good? Okay, so the next part's a little bit more complicated. It requires a little bit more thought. What is the smallest angle? Uh, B. Angle B. Because this is the smallest side, angle B is the smallest angle. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. What is the medium-sized angle? A, and the largest angle? It's going to be C. C. That was number one. Okay. Now we're going to skip to number three. Number three says? Um, um, sorry, triangle ABC, where AB equals 17, <coughs> equals... I don't know. Number three. Yeah. Oh, number three. Shortest to longest, right? That's the whole part, shortest to longest. So number three is a little different. It's the same question, just presented a different way. There are angle measurements in there, and their side lengths are missing. So if we add these two angles together, you get 115. How many degrees are in a triangle? 180. So 180 minus 115 is 65. So a little bit of math to figure out angle O is 65 degrees. Now we're looking at shortest to longest, smallest to biggest angles. Small, medium, large. What is the smallest angle? Angle N. The medium sized angle? And the largest angle? Now, doing the same thing, if angle N is the smallest angle, then what is the smallest side? M -O. Line segment MO. If 61 degrees or angle M is the middle one, what's the middle length? N. Line segment NO. So this is the small one. This is the medium. What's the large one? Again? N. You have to do that twice on your test. And you only have to do that for just the sides or just the angles, not both. Cool? Now, the second part was, can you make a triangle on your test? It's true or false. So a triangle exists, true or false? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, yes but how do we do that? By adding uh, Small plus medium has to be bigger than large. So what's the small number? Seven. The medium number. The large number. Is seven plus eight bigger than nine? Yes. Yes. The answer is yes. What about number six? No. No. No, because the small number is six. The medium number is 7. Is that bigger than 13? What is 6 plus 7 is 13? So no, 13 is not bigger than 13. The entire class period today is going to lie with this one symbol. This is all we are looking at today. You have to determine which piece is bigger. That is it. 
On your test, you have to put in inequality that goes this way or this way. That is the whole part of the, of the class today. Which piece is bigger? Right? Cool? Did you all do your homework? No. Yes, raise your hand if you did your homework. Yeah. All right, perfect. So, moving on to today. Now we're in the notes today. This is new information today. It says you have two triangles, A, B, C, and X, Y, Z. This thing is called the hinge theorem. It's called the hinge theorem because it works like the hinge on a car door. It works like the hinge on the classroom door. It works like the hinge on your front door. The more you open the door, the bigger the angle gets. The more you close the door, the smaller the angle gets. So I'm going to show you these two rulers. Right? The hinge is right here where my hand is. If I open this hinge up, what can you say about the distance from tip to tip? All right? As I decrease the distance, what, I, what about tip to tip now? Shorter. Shorter. Increase the distance? Longer. Longer. So that is increasing the angle makes longer, decreasing the angle makes shorter. So one thing that has to happen, this has to happen, is you have to have two sides that are congruent. So are those two purple lines the same size? And then you have to have another set of two sides that are congruent. So I have purple and red. In this instance, it says that angle Y is bigger than angle B. Right? I just put two random numbers there. Is 100 bigger than 50? <laughs> so on your test, it's going to ask you to make a justification about these two line segments. Which line segment is longer, XZ or AC? XZ. So how do you write that? You put it like this. The gator eats the bigger quantity. That's how I learned it. So if this is the small angle, this is the small side. If this is the big angle, this is the big side. This right here is all we're trying to do today, that one inequality. Feel good about it? So because the angle is bigger here, the line segment is longer, XZ is longer. Because 50 is smaller than 100, AC is shorter. So we're going to try that. I'm going to skip this one. Uh, let's go back to it. Now we have two triangles. Does the hinge theorem work here? Is it applicable? Yes, because this piece is congruent to this piece. And this piece is congruent to this piece. So which angle is bigger, 80 or 85? 85. 85 is the big angle. 80 is the small angle. So this is the big side, and this is the small side. So we have to figure out what is the relationship between NM and GI. Joe. Had to. Which one's bigger? GI or NM? GI. And you do this. Just like on your test. Is there any solving here? No. All you're saying is which one's bigger? Because this angle is bigger than this angle, this line is bigger than that line. What about this one? We're looking at two line segments. Hinge theorem works because. This piece is equal to this piece, and this piece is equal to this piece. So what is the relationship between LP and XA? Which one has the bigger angle? X, X, A, X, A. This 93 is bigger than 90. So XA is bigger than LP. You guys are eerily quiet right now. Is it? It's as easy as altitudes are. False. So are these free points I'm giving you on your test? So don't screw these up. Is it going to change? Probably. Yes. Absolutely, right? That's not my class unless it's going to change. So yes, Baker. <laughs> the time one I liked. I, I liked that one. How many of you guys know how to tell time? 
It's the time. No. Yikes, yeah, right? How many of y'all can still it's read? It's 148. So. Okay, so on a clock, what do the hands look like when it's 3 o'clock? The long hands. So okay, yeah, that's one, called three. the hour hand points to the 3 and the minute hand points to the 12. Yes, well done. Now, what does it look like at 310? Same thing. Same thing. The hour hand goes 2 past 2. Oh, now, does the hinge theorem work here? Yes. yes. Do we have two congruent line lengths? No. Yes. Is the hour hand the same as the hour hand? No. Yes. Is the minute hand the same as the minute hand? Yes. So, which one has a longer distance from tip to tip? Three o'clock. How do you know that? Because it's... We have to know how many degrees it is, don't you? Not really. No. Yes, you do! How many degrees are in a circle? Oh, 360. 360. Yeah. Then how many hours are on, how many sections on a clock? 12. So if I do 360 divided by 12, get 30. each chunk is 30 degrees. So 30, 60, 90 degrees right here, 30 degrees right here. Which one's bigger, 30 or 90? 90. So which one has a bigger distance? 3 o'clock. Three o'clock. This one. And what I'm asking you guys to do is say that 3 o'clock is bigger than 310. Wasn't that bad, wasn't it? So what time does this class end? 210? Yeah. Yo. Ooh, I wonder how many degrees you have left in class. Oh, There's 120 degrees left till you leave. 20. Oh, God, he's going to start telling time in degrees now. I'm excited. You're excited. <laughs> We're all excited to try it again. Yeah. Which one has a greater distance, 5 o'clock or 5.15? 5 o'clock. Whoa, y'all are just all of a sudden, like, masters at telling time? This is not necessarily. 5? 5.15. This is 150 degrees. This is 60 degrees. Which one's bigger? 150. Both. The whole class centers around which way to draw the inequality. Cool? So here's how it gets a little different. Look at this. Think about this. What's different? It's got a side and center. Instead of the angles being labeled, the uh, sides are. Okay, so which side is bigger, the sixth side or the seventh side? Seven, seven. This is a big side, this is a small side. So if that's a big side, this is a big angle, this is the small angle. So now we're writing a justification of which angle is bigger. Q is bigger than M. Is that easy or harder? You like that one better? I prefer this one. I don't know why, like seeing that makes it easier for me. Okay, let's try it. <clears throat> These are the hard ones on your homework. So, does the hinge theorem work here? Yes. This side is the same as this side. This side is the same as this side. And if you read the question stem, it says that TR is bigger than ZX. TR is bigger than ZX. So if TR is bigger than ZX, you have two angles. You have a 5X plus 2 degree angle, and you have a 72 degree angle. On your homework, all I'm going to ask you guys to do is tell me which angle is bigger. The 72 degree angle. I, will, I did the math for that. I now, you, I, and I'm going to do the math for you because you made a really, really big mistake. So, do you know how to do this kind of math? Anybody? It's basically like an equal sign. It is just an equal sign, it doesn't change any operations. Minus 2, well done. 5x is still less than 70. And so then divide, by divide both sides by 5. x equals 14. Ah, Baker did it. 
x is less than 14. No. Go ahead. Um, couldn't you find it out? Because it's like, you just turn the thing and then it's one of those triangles where it's like, um, the bottom two are the same and then the top one's different. Not really. What are you talking about? So like, you like numbers between the two. So here's where we're at right now, like 14, right? 14 is the x value, so I plug a 14 in right here. No, no, we never said, oh, no, because that goes to 72. 5 times 14 is 70, and 70 plus 2 is 72. So any number less than 14, 14 would better. keep its true. That's why it's less. So you said it has to be from 0 to 14? It's, it so if I, let's talk about that. Zero. Well, if I plug a 0 in right here. 5 times 0 is 0. Plus 0 plus 2 is 2. So is 2 still make it true? Yes, but what is the smallest angle in a triangle? Even, can it be a 0.5 degree angle? So the smallest angle is really is 0. And people miss this part right here. The angle is between as low as 0 and as high as 72. So we solved these concurrently. I did minus 2 right here. I have to do minus 2 over here. I did divided by 5. I have to do divided by 5 again. So I get negative 2 fifths. So x is anywhere between negative 2 fifths and 14. If I put a negative 2 fifths in here, I get 0. So any number bigger than negative 2 fifths, like negative 1 fifth, would make that triangle true. But it did lower than negative 2 fifths. No, it cannot be equal to negative two fifths because it would make it zero and it would become a line segment and not a triangle. All right, so that's a lot of weird stuff. Do I want you to do that? Yes. All I need you to do is this part right here, the angle measurement. So we'll try that one more time and then we're, we're going to be done. Nope, we are done. This is your homework. Do y'all have this? No. Do you want it while no. I'm doing it? Or? Yes. Wait, I'm going to do it regardless, so you can either do it by yourself or you can do it with me. Right, let me pass this out real quick, and maybe you'll choose to follow along. I don't know. You live your own life. Right? Or is it just I'm that awesome at teaching it? Yeah, I think it's the second one. You know, we all live different lives. I don't want to choose the ladder. I don't want to play your ego anymore. I mess around with that sometimes. <laughs> my, my ego is as big as my heart. Aww. So it's super tiny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we go. Number one, it says all you have to do is slam the inequality in there and tell me which piece is bigger. So does the hinge theorem work? Yes. yes. Check. Check. So which angle is bigger? 60 is the big angle, which means 44 is the small angle. So which line segment's longer? Jam. You just do this. Uh, hopefully it doesn't take too much effort to say that the gator eats the bigger angle. Okay, now number two is a little bit more complicated. Is this piece the same as this piece? Yes. Then is this reflexive piece the same as itself? Yes. So you really have two angles, a red angle and a blue angle. So the red angle is 30 degrees, the blue angle is 35 degrees. Which one's bigger? 35. This is the big piece, and this is the small piece. So which line segment's longer? Ugh, so much work. Are you like serial or no? Like, oh, no, I'm just kidding. So, again, a little bit more complicated here. You have to figure out where the hinge theorem works to apply the knowledge. This 4 is the same as this 4. This 4 is the same as this 4. So which number is bigger, 7 or 8? Eight? 8. 8 is the big number, so this is the big angle. 7 is the small number, so that's the small angle. Which angle is bigger? Well done, children. Can you try number six by yourself? Yeah. I believe in you. If I could read it. Yeah. It's on your paper. Oh, it's 12. X is 
Whoa. X is bigger. Yule. Yule? Let's check it. 9 is the same as 9. 10.5 is the same as 10.5. This is the big one. This is the small one. So yes, X is the right one. So you have three more questions. Now on those last three questions, all I want you to do is to write the inequality. So just watch me up here. This is not on your paper. Which one is bigger? You have two angles, 58 and 3x minus 2. Which one's bigger? 12 is the big number, 11 is the small number, so 58 is bigger. All I want you guys to do is do that and stop. All right? The pre AP kids will have to solve all of that. You guys are just going to stop there because this is what your test looks like right here. Cool beans? Now, if you can finish those last three questions, that's all the expectation is today. And this? You already did that. I already graded it. You didn't see me grade it? Yeah, front only, you guys don't have to do the back. If you're done, you're done. I want you to hold on to it so you can study it for your test on Friday. The pre-AP kid has turned in today.